I am filming in my car because I'm not at home and my voice is super nasally. I'm just really congested at the moment. I have a cold. So two years ago when I started racing bikes, I had a look at my life goals and I renewed them to include this thing that was basically taking over my whole life. <laughs> and the goal that I wrote down was to race a world tour race. I came very close to that goal a lot sooner than I thought I would when the Tour Down Under, which is held here in Australia, gained world tour status this year. And the stars aligned when they were two teams short so they were basically taking any UCI team. So even though Rock Salt Live Shram has never been a World Tour team, it's, it's always been registered as a UCI team though, we would have been able to compete. However, the hitch was, we did not register as UCI this year. So we were late to the party. We did contact them and try to get registration, but they said, uh, no way has So unfortunately we were not a registered UCI team and could not compete. I held on to my hope until like a week or two before the race, but it was obviously not going to happen. Um, so Zwift actually invited me along to be an ambassador for yeah. them. And I thought, surely going is better than sitting at home, right? Here's how it went. The vibe at the tour village was amazing. Um, the Tour Down Under did such a great job of setting up like the expo, the main stage, places where you could get food and drinks. And it just had like such an exciting energy around it. And you could see riders and it just really felt um, quite like special and like you were really getting a good look into the race. They even had a Vanessa Amorossi concert on the opening night. So 10 out of 10 for that Santos Tour Down Under. Who lost the sponsors of the squad? Who? So stage one, I got to spend the day in the Zwift van with these two legends. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, so that was really cool. But being on the other side of the fence, so to speak, but still on this side of the fence, <laughs> it was a really bizarre experience to be around these riders who were preparing to race. That's usually me. It's always been me. I've never been on the other side. I don't know how that feels. Even growing up, I wasn't I didn't know this sport really existed, so it's not like I've been on the other side and made it to, you know, being one of the riders. I've only known being one of the riders. So to be a spectator was a first for me, and um, yeah, I don't know how I felt about it. <laughs> I mean, I thought I'd go and feel a lot of relief about not having to feel those nerves and that um, anxiety and anticipation for what I'm about to do and having to go through the logistics and the prep and whatnot and then just seeing even seeing them come up over this QOM knowing how hard I'd be pushing to stay in um, but seeing that everyone was still there in a group and seeing riders I guess that I know I can be right there in the thick of the action knowing that I'd be right there too um, was kind of hard to deal with. But anyways, check out this amazing setup we had by the beach. This is at the finish line now, so the women were going to be coming through here any second. Um, and it was a really exciting finish actually, the way it all uh, unfolded as a bunch of sprint. And Daria from Human Powered Health won, which I love because they're sort of like an underdog world tour team, I don't think. I think this was their first world tour win, so that's super awesome for them. I love to see it. So yeah, and there's everyone coming through. I am just like Polish girl, first years in the world tour and... <laughs> so I was actually presenting the Zwift Young Riders jersey, so that's us behind, backstage about to present. Um, Maka reads my name, a little confused because I guess the weekend before we had our nationals and I was literally called up, um, you know, onto the podium. <laughs> so to be called up as a presenter was probably a bit like, oh, have I got the names wrong? But anyway, Ali Wollaston won the Young Riders jersey for the day, which is awesome. She won the quit the night before. I had a little interview with her afterwards, and she's just really cool. Um, so it was great to see her get the win. Yay. I think it's somewhere around 30 degrees right now, and I'm making my way up what I think is Mount Lofty. Mount Barker? I don't know. It's this one. Super fun to descend. So this is day two. I parked myself up at the QOM um, to see the action there. That's Amanda Spratt doing her attack, which at this point I was like, maybe I don't want to be in the race. This would be really hard <laughs> trying to follow her. And I'm in the heat. It's just, it's hot. But at the same time, I was like, I just climbed up this hill. Like I'd much, if I'm going to be riding, I'd much rather be racing. I'm someone that likes to race and compete. You know, I don't just like riding and training for the sake of it so much. So there's the two chasing her down and 
the rest of the well not the rest of the group but some of the stronger riders that were able to stay in a lead sort of group um so yeah this was another one of those times where i was like okay well where would i be like could i be here possibly probably not i'd probably be in a group behind this but it all sort of came back together so i know that i would have you know finished the stage no matter what and been on to the next day which i guess for me would have been my goal just to complete this race to say I've done a world tour race. So here's some riders finishing. I didn't make it back in time for the leaders finishing, um, but was able to see some others cross the line. And Alexandra Manley won the stage, which is cool, but on her. It's always good for an Australian team to get some success. Something really cool that I liked about being at the Tour Down Under was running into people that I knew and realizing that I actually do have a place in this community. And that's something that I haven't really felt so far in this sport as a rider. Um, but yeah, meeting the people behind the brands that support me as well, it was really cool. They're all amazing people. And I just felt so proud to be a part of oh, their success. Anyway, I just felt very happy and excited about that. We are going to the start of stage three. It's in the city, so that's super easy. Once they head off, I'm gonna go do the corkscrew um, just to see what it's like. Yeah, and just share that pain. So yeah, I'll do that. Then I'll head to the finish line um, because if I stay to watch them do the QOM on the corkscrew, I won't see the finish. So I think I'd rather see the finish today since it's the last stage. So I'll get down there um, with a lot of time to spare and just hang out, chill. <laughs> Love to see this, what spirit. And these people are great. There are other people as well that know who I am or recognize Rock Salt and um, yeah, asked why I wasn't racing and that made me feel better. <laughs> Such an exciting finish. Amanda Spratt was away going on the corkscrew. Grace Brown was hunting her down there and the group wasn't far behind. So it's sort of like, there's gonna be a bunch finish. Who's Grace gonna catch her? Is it gonna be Amanda Spratt? And there is how it ended. Grace Brown got the big W. Final day of presenting the Zwift Young Riders jersey. Yay. And it actually went to Henrietta Christian from Human Powered Health. So again, super win for that team, which is awesome. And she's from New Zealand, so really close to home. That's really cool. very special experience that I had was having people recognize me and like kids asking how to become good like me which absolutely melted my heart uh, but yeah just realizing that I can't be too much of a Lucy and I do actually have influence in this space and a bit of responsibility not to be too wild <laughs> so I don't know it was, it was just kind of cool and motivating so yeah I'm definitely still figuring out what I want from this sport I don't know whether doing a world tour race will be my greatest achievement I think my need that a lot of us have especially people in sport that are competitive there's just like this um need to prove ourselves <laughs> and prove that we're good um and be the best at things we don't like being average and like i'm about to turn 30. <laughs> coming into sport at this age is so different from being young and i just think it's a different experience how you view the world is so different and i haven't grown up in sport um and my competitiveness and that need to prove myself that you know has always seemed so insatiable I think is dying a little bit because I know who I am and I'm happy with who I am and 
you know, I define success, achievement, happiness in life so differently. And I'm so glad that I did go, like it was so fun. The Zwift crew are just some of the best people ever. Um, and yeah, being able to meet up with other brands that I work with, like Koo, Quadlock, the Sham guys were there. And I just felt proud that I get to work with just really great brands and really great people behind those brands. Anyway, they're just some thoughts. I'll probably expand on these in other videos, but I think that's enough for now.